Welcome back to Inside the Box. In this video, I'm going to talk about what I hinted at a couple weeks ago in this short about a shipping scam going on. I received some pink slips in the mail that said postage due for two different packages I ordered. I ordered these packages from overseas and I was waiting several weeks to get them. When I bought the items, it was free shipping, but now I was being told that I owed $6 on each package, so a total of $12 to get my items. Have any of you gotten these in the mail before? They let me know that I owed postage on a package that was sent to me. This was really frustrating because you would think that the post office would never send anything out unless postage was paid up front, but occasionally this does happen where the receiving end has to pay postage on an item. The thing that caught my eye the most on these pink slips though, and I blacked out my personal information, but it was this right here, fake postage. I didn't know what that meant. I, I was wondering, is my package real? Like what I ordered online, did I get what I really ordered? And so I went to the post office to ask all these questions. So in this video, I wanna share with you the story of what the postal worker told me, and I'll show you the package and talk about what these fake labels look like and what happens. So I took these pink slips to the post office to get my questions answered and to pay for my packages so I could get the items that I ordered. And this video was just supposed to happen because there was nobody at the post office that day. There, there were, as I walked in, there was like one guy leaving, so I didn't have to wait in line. And I was able to chat with uh, this postal lady for, I don't know, a good 20 minutes to get all my questions answered without having people behind me like waiting their turn. So it was perfect. So I went up to the counter and I was like, what is this? What are these pink slips? Can you tell me what this big postage is? And she explained what happens when you order something online is a seller sometimes finds a cheaper way to ship things. And it's someone uh, who probably has their own ship or their own way of transporting cargo and they just pay a little bit extra for them to ship it out on their ship with, with postage uh, coming from a different country. Now, when postage is shipped foreign, because you're going through many different postal services, it messes with the tracking number. Uh, so I could only track that my postage had made it into the United States, and then after that was just a guessing game for the time that it made it into the United States to when it showed up at my door, or in this case, the post office. So because there's this weird switch with the tracking number, sometimes these packages are hard to catch right away, was my understanding. Uh, and what happens is it's the person with that cargo ship transporting it to the US. Once it gets to the US, they stick a fake label on there. And because of the weird tracking thing, it's not detected that it's fake until it's reached its final destination of the post office. Now the worker told me that they used to send these packages right back, but it was making a lot of people mad. And so now they give the the consumers or buyers a chance to purchase their items and pay the extra postage before sending it back. But she says, but that still makes people mad. So what you have here is a seller who may or may not know that the person they're shipping with is putting a fake label on things. They might just think that they're getting a great deal on shipping, but this person could, could be scamming them as well as scamming you and you're having to pay the extra cost. So the seller might not even be aware that this happened. So I need to reach out to my seller, I still haven't done that yet, but explain the situation so that they're aware that they're using a scammy process to send stuff. And this was important for me to share with you guys because if you find alternative ways to ship things overseas, really look into them because this can happen the other direction too, from the United States to a different country. And it's important to to run your business correctly, to use proper channels, to not do illegal things. When you're selling things online, it's important to research your delivery options to make sure they're legitimate, to make sure you're not accidentally making your customer pay $12 extra in postage because that's, that's bad business on you. I'm not buying from these people again. That was a lot of money. I, I'm not a happy customer. Your customers aren't gonna be happy if you save the $2 on the shipping label to send it some scammy, incorrect way, they're not gonna be happy. So always be aware when maybe there's an alternative shipping opportunity presented to you and check out if they're really legitimate. 
Uh, so this can happen both ways. Now, it's also possible that the seller was totally in on the scam. The seller could have totally been on, in on the scam. I have suspicions that they were, and you'll see that on the shipping labels I'll show you in a minute. They were saying that they were shipping a phone case, which was not what the item was at all. I actually got what I ordered, which uh, surprised me. So when I went up to the front counter, the lady let me know, like, you can, you can purchase this, or if you want to, you can you know, feel the packages, shake them a little bit. And if you don't think it's what you ordered, you can send it back and you don't have to buy these. But as soon as you open them, you have to pay for them. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna make a YouTube video about this. So I'm just, I'm curiosity killed the cat on this one. I had to know if I was being scammed so far as there being the wrong item in the box or if I got what I ordered. I did get what I ordered, although it was labeled incorrectly the whole time. Uh, and I asked her more about the fake postage and I'll show you what that looks like on the packages I received. So I'm going to do my best to explain this the way I I was explained it at the post office. So these are the two packages I got and I'm going to show you. I did black out um, my personal information on the package, but uh, the postal lady told me that anytime you get something that says online seller, online seller, online seller, online seller, it's more than likely a fake package. She also explained that this easy post she told me there was no such company. There is a uh, website under there, but she said that it doesn't exist. That's not real. Uh, then she also explained that this here is a zip code, the 77423. And she said it's a zip code. And she told me it's a zip code that does not exist. And it's the same zip code over here. However, you can see this package says it's coming from California. And this package says it's coming from Texas. So these addresses are fake and they don't match with the zip code on top. So she explained that these are all signs of a fake package. Okay, this was the package she started peeling up. So I'm going to do the same. And she peeled it before. Okay, she peeled it to here and she said, oh, I see the word phone. It might be saying, yeah, phone case. Uh, and so she said, did you order a phone case? And I didn't. I ordered some facial oil. So she said that this is probably a phone case. And also this package was uh, the lighter one, I think. Yeah, this one was a little heavier. This one could potentially be the facial oil I ordered. Uh, and this one's really light. So it's probably a phone case. So she gave me a choice to, when she peeled it back this far, to either pay for the package or have them send it back. I said, you know what, this is going to make a great YouTube video. I'm going to pay for this. Plus, curiosity just killed the cat on this one. I have to know what's in this, in this package. So I'm going to peel this back the rest of the way. Okay, so I went ahead and peeled back uh, both labels off the boxes. And I crossed off uh, my personal information. But they both say... But they both say phone case. Uh, this says quantity two, and then this one says uh, phone case quantity one. Uh, I need to go back and check, but I think I did order three uh, facial oils. I'm trying, trying to remember. Uh, so the quantity might be right, but the description's wrong. I, I didn't order a phone case. Now what I'm noticing is there is uh, still another paper. There's another paper underneath both of these. So I'm going to go ahead and peel these off and see what's under there and then come back to it. I did my best to peel off the last label. I got my hair dryer out. Uh, that's why these look kind of burnt, but I couldn't get this one off. But this, you can see the, the bottom label here it says phone case still, and over here it says phone case. I did check my receipt again. The quantity is correct uh, because I had placed two separate orders, one for one and the other for two. And uh, so the quantity is right, but it's saying phone case, and I did not order a phone case. So we're going to open these up and see what actually came. Whew. Guess what, guys? This is the oil, facial oil that I ordered. They put phone case on there to get past customs or something. So that was quantity. 
Okay, so yeah, so far the products have been right, but the skipping, the skipping, the shipping has been sketch. So ultimately people are getting mad because maybe the sellers didn't know they were using a scammy service and all of a sudden their items are coming back and they had to refund the buyer or they had customers like me waiting a whole month to get something, finding out it got all the way to their post office, but then it got sent back when maybe you would have been happy to pay the extra postage. But then them keeping the, the fake packages going all the way to the post office and then you paying the extra postage on it like that's still making people mad. I, I'm i out the $12 and I can talk to the seller. Maybe they'd refund me for it. The workers told me that that's happened with people before they let the seller know about this, that they had to pay shipping and then they get refunded. Uh, so it's just a matter of communication. Like I mentioned, I haven't reached out to the seller yet. So we'll see if I get that $12 back or not. If I don't, I, I lost. I lost $12 because someone is cheating the postal service someone is cheating how shipping goes and i'm the one who has to pay for it now the post office also loses a lot in this as well uh, the postal worker worker let me know that they get about 40 of these packages a day i think is what she said that it's been a, a really terrible scam she let me know that they are on top of tracking down the criminals who print print these fake shipping labels uh, and I told her about my YouTube channel and she's like, please make the video because a lot more people need to be aware of what's going on here. This costs the post office a ton of money, a ton of money uh, every year from, from all these scams. And if sellers aren't aware, they need to be aware now that you need to double check who you're shipping with. You need to make sure they're a legitimate company because it's one thing if the seller and the shipping person we're in cahoots and scamming people together. But what I really feel bad for are the sellers who don't know that they're paying a scammer to do this. So make sure you know who you're shipping with so you have happy customers and return your business and so you're not breaking any rules or any laws. The shipping scam's been going on for a while. This might not be the first you've heard of it. This is just the first time it's happened to me. Let me know in the comments below if you've had any shipping scams happen to you, or what you've done about them. Would you have bought the packages? Would you have sent them back? Um, like I said, I still need to talk to the seller. We'll see if I get that money back. I hope you guys got some good information out of this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel on your way out. Thanks everyone and I will catch you in my next video.